and we're going for our last take of ray structure that is steady drift and steady drift ratio take so to do that i'll open a excel sheet which one will use to take it take or structure then here for uh for that situation we're seeing we need the steps of arrangement base will be below and our top floor will be in top so here i'll go and maybe we can use uh some of our previous excel maybe for a straight yeah we can use that one right we can use that one to take our that value so copy from here for extraction go here right click and paste it here okay and base and height of the height of structure for height of erector structure we can go uh, maybe for our uh, that for that one okay so from gf s3 on s3 to but uh here we need in the value in meter but we need to uh, rotate that so to do that i can go here right click and i can click here in tabulating form okay, uh no need to take data from here i'm just closing that on so it's okay we have taken our that s3 um, value then we have to take our s3 height in meter so what i'll do to do that i'll go to our software i'll go to here unit then metric mks default select that on and after that go for model then here and from here is history definition and just see our value are in meter from gf to top so just simply select and ctrl c copy no need to that on also so here just provide that value okay uh and we have to see till which height we have taken that data from software so from uh, we have taken the data till gf okay done so after that i'll close it and what we need actually now we need for ex1 elastic displacement okay fine but before that we need cd and value of uh one i mean i value of i and value of cd then for that i'll go here what that we have provided i'll go define then i'll go for load pattern then from earthquake x i'll go modify and uh here we can see the value of cd is 5.5 any porous factor that's one i'll close it i'll close it and i'll go this is 5.5 and this is one and uh del a what is the value of that just come here and see here the factor we have to select that factor so i'm considering our structure i mean our structure are in occupancy category one and two and for all other structures i'm selecting that so 0.02 i'll select here 0.02 okay done for uh 0.02 here also 0.02 for y direction e y1 and everything is okay that's maybe 5.5 and here also 5.5 done now we need then elastic displacement value of elastic displacement to do that we have to go softer the same way just we need the value of displacement analysis then joint output displacement and here the story max or average displacement already have taken that data just right click show in table and same way we have to go for eqx and a step number as we have taken the previous value for step number one so here i'll take for everyone but we'll take for step number one okay then uh everything is okay and from base to top this is also okay so here the maximum 
displacement we're seeing the value of maximum the maximum displacement so if we take that it will be okay or you can take average but no need to take average just we'll take maximum Control c we'll go here and we'll paste it here as a value just see we have done it uh maybe we have done a mistake for taking data so they have value from uh terrace to history one okay for terrace to history one okay no problem we have done perfectly so this is the value for terrace to history one for gf they have no uh i mean they have no displacement because we, do, we didn't provide any uh diaphragm there and no need to change check for that one actually so we're seeing that it's safe and for direction seat money that means and direction for two we'll just go here for a step two okay two then apply so everything is okay just simply take that data same way for y on and uh, here just simply paste it <coughs> done so uh same way you have to check for a straight drift y and uh for uh, just you have to this value are also okay okay this is this value is same as previous just what you have to do we have to provide that i mean i mean our value of e y for one step one for step two just simply provide you have to provide the data and here the drift ratio this is also safety to auto this will automatically calculate this is also safe for ex1 and for ex2 this also safe and for y you have to check it here see the, if this is not safe then you have to increase the column size you have to increase um, the in stiffness of structure. so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and if you think that there's helpful for you and if you need this excel sheet you can contact us directly and also uh we'll try to um support you and uh if you need that excel sheet uh, so you can join as a member to our channel and we'll provide you this excel sheet uh, after uh, joining as a member otherwise you can go to our website for the excel sheet so thank you thank you very much still let's connect till next video and if this video is helpful for you then give a super thanks or join as a member